everybody so today I'm going to be doing a study with me so yeah I'm all set up just put my hair up because I have to put my hair up in a study um, got a drink, got a bit of food, got my maths books out because I think I want to focus on a bit of maths today. Um, got my laptop ready for doing a bit of online maths. And yeah, so welcome to my study with me and I hope you enjoy it. Um, by the way, I do actually have a website, um, lovegreenhouse.com. So if you would like to check that out, I will leave a link in the description box below. So today I decided to just focus on maths revision, so I'm doing the AQA GCSE maths, the higher paper, so I was just going through a few of these questions that have been set online, I just think they're really helpful just to get familiar with all the topics, so here I was just revising the quadratic formula. I just thought I'd show you a few useful books that I found useful when I'm revising for my GCSEs. So as you can see, I just write down quite a lot of like practice questions in the front of this exercise book that I use. I just find this really useful to just go back, write down questions, and then in a few weeks time, I can re-go over the questions and um, practice them topics again. And then I also like to write down all of the topics in the chapters that I have done so far. So that is what I use that notebook for. And then another thing I find useful are the CGP um, just revision books. This is just the workbook. So as you can see, there's just a lot of questions in there and all the different topics. There isn't much room to write down answers, but that's what I use my notebook for to just write down all the answers in there. And then another book that I find useful is again, another CGP book. This is the exam practice workbook. So this has questions like the other one, but these are more of an exam style question. And as you can see, there's room to actually write your answers in. And then all of the actual answers for the questions are at the back. Another really useful thing about these books are at the back of the books, there are actually exam papers. So you have exam paper one, higher tier, exam paper two, higher tier, and exam paper three, higher tier. Um, I think there's also a foundation version of this book, but if you are on foundation, then I do advise getting the higher tier stuff as it will really help you with the foundation stuff as well. But yeah, as you can see, there are three different papers in here, which are just really good to just go through and do any questions that you can. And if you can't do any questions, then obviously we revise those topics. And then this is just the answer book to the first workbook that I showed you. And then this is also another amazing book. This is just the revision guide and it just has all the topics and then all the topics explained in it. So it's just good to refer back to. And then I also find just questions on topics really useful. If you just Google certain topics, loads of questions usually come up and they're just really good to revise and test yourself. And past papers are always really good as well. I also find these papers, UK Math Challenge, really useful. They just have some really good problem solving questions on, um, a bit more harder than GCSE, but again, really good to test yourself. And then again, just a few more past papers, as I do think that they are the best way of revising. So I do print off the foundation and the higher, because I do think that even if you are in higher, you can benefit from doing foundation papers as well. And then these are just some papers that I've done in the past. And then I just went back online to do some more of those questions where you watch the videos and then they give you practice questions on. So again, I just did those and then also used this book to just help me with some of the topics. And then I just went through all of my maths books and wrote down in that notebook that I was showing you before all of the topics from the chapters. So I wrote down every single chapter and every single topic that I have studied and covered so far. So that took quite a while as we have covered quite a lot of chapters and topics, but I would recommend just every time you do a topic, just write it down in the book and then you do have like a 
thorough list of everything that you've done so far and it's good to just refer back to and know what topics you're going to need to revise and any topics that you're stuck on. this study with me video if you have liked it please give it a big thumbs up and also if you would like to see other study videos on other subjects then please leave a comment about what subjects you want me to do and I will be sure to do them so yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time bye